We were working together to come up with the rhyme when we saw Chad plugging and chugging with the TI-89. This gave us an idea that changed our approach. Oh, hey, did I mention Fogler's book was our coach? Fired up a reactor, but in the beginning, you know, it didn't really matter. Once at steady state, the blades continued to agitate. Never reached our conversion, so now we're really hurt. It was back to the books for just a quick look. The first thing we noticed, that is, once we were focused, was to put it up to the beat of the algorithm. I got all this data and I don't know the matter. I be up by design, but not a lot of time. Just goose attempt to drive up the conversion, but let it take off on an exothermic excursion. Yes, that easy, so cheesy. According to Fogel, for sure, fall cheesy. Hey, you're clever, so now and forever, just put it to the beat of the algorithm. Mole balance, great loss, stoichiometry. Combine it all to approach the right geometry. To avoid mistakes or overcompensate, just put it to the beat of the algorithm. I like my girls like I like my reactors. 80 of bad. But it better be a whole lot of heat generated and none lost, or else my presence will be sporadic. If we're talking PBR, it's gotta be that tight. Big pressure drop because the voids are light. The catalyzing reactions with all their might. The wind flows are too high, they put up no bite. Mole balance rate loss, stoichiometry. Combine it all to produce a right geometry. To avoid mistakes or overcompensate, just put it to the beat of the algorithm. Overcompensate, just put it to the beat of the algorithm. Know the numerical path before you input it in polymath. Have all the factors before you send it to the reactor. It might take a while to get the right temperature profile. Mole balance rate loss stoichiometry. Combine it all to produce the right geometry. To avoid mistakes or overcompensate, just put it to the beat of the algorithm. 